The reason I'm here is in an act of solidarity. Um, I'm a member of parliament and the role of a member of parliament supposedly is to stand up for democracy and the democratic rights of individuals and to protect that democracy against the threats from wherever those threats come. Um, I'm also, as a, in my role as member of parliament several years ago, I established the National Union of Journalists Parliamentary Group. I was the secretary of the parliamentary group. And we set that group up, yes, as a trade union group to represent um, journalists, to ensure that we protected jobs and wages and trade union conditions, of course we did. But we also set that group up because we wanted to protect the rights of journalists and a free press, the rights of sources of those journalists, and the right to be able to publish the truth. And it's interesting, it was during, we went through the Iraq war, we were making representations to the government about embedded journalists within the military. We also led campaigns on the assassinations of journalists that's taken place on such a large number over the years and is mounting it even still. So when this case came along and when WikiLeaks happened, it just seemed like a classic case of whistleblowing to expose wrongdoing which was brutal, illegal, grotesque, and actually something that many of us have suspected was happening, but just couldn't get the proof. This made the proof of that brutality, the torture and the murders that went on. And so it was a huge breakthrough. And of course then, the state in its, in its usual role has tried to close down the access of individuals like us, the access of civil society, towards that truth, and that's what this is about. And yes, it's exactly as Neil said, is about an individual in Julian Assange, but it is also about the principle, about the protection of the democracy, that fourth estate that we established, as you said, the separation of powers, but also the ability to throw right on iniquity that was going on, perpetrated in our names. That's what this was all about, a fundamental principle. So that's why I'm here as an act of solidarity. I, like Jeremy and others who at the time, we voted against the extradition treaty that was brought forward. We warned it would be used in this way, in the way in which it's unbalanced in the relationship between this country and the US, a subservient relationship. We warned that this would happen, and this is a classic case of the use of that legislation to still voices and also to persecute, because that's what it is. And I agree, I don't see any hope of Julian Assange having any, any chance of a fair trial if he's extradited. So one of the key issues for us is to do everything we possibly can to prevent that extradition. But I also, it is also about what's happening now to Julian Assange. And who better to tell us about torture than the UN Rapporteur on torture? And if the UN Rapporteur on torture is telling us torture is taking place, to be frank, I believe him more than I would believe Priti Patel or, or <laughs> Boris Johnson. Um, so, so in addition to preventing uh, the extradition, it is also about our responsibilities to protect the well-being of Julian Assange now. Now, I be, must be one of the few people that's trying to break into Belmarsh Prison as against break out. Because we've sought to have a MP's visit, and I've just written again, I've just written to Priti Patel to say, look, why are the delays in allowing us just to visit Julian and meet him and see, just see his circumstances so that we can report back to others and, yes, to Parliament on his current situation. And we're hoping with the continued pressure and meetings like this, we'll get that access. Because I do fear. I do fear for his well-being. I fear for his health. And as has been said, over the years, I've met and visited prisoners in their different circumstances, often in solitary confinement, and yes, in Belmarsh itself, which is a remarkable institution for anyone to maintain some form of health or well-being within it itself. And that's why we'll continue to press for the right to visit, not just as MPs, but others as well, because again, there's the imp impediments that's been placed before his legal team and other visitors to support him as well. Of course, the key issue for us, though, is to secure his release. Yes. Our view, very, very clearly, yes. is this... Yes. And I, 
I agree. I agree. As immediate as we can. But, but I agree. I, you don't have to heckle me on that. I'll come and heckle you. I agree. We want him out now. Of course we do. And we'll do, and we'll do, as you've seen here tonight, we will work together to do that. Because it isn't, as I said, just about Julian Assange. The reason Julian Assange was arrested in this way was to send a message to anyone else who wants to stand up against injustice, to anyone else who wants to publish the truth that exposes the role of the state and the brutality inflicted on individuals that the state often has, anyone else who actually wants to stand up again against torture and against war. That was what the purpose. And in many ways, yes, Julian Assange has become the scapegoat of this administration and the American administration itself. But times have moved on as well. And my fear is that we now have, in the election of Boris Johnson, the most servile, syncophatic, syncophatic I suppose, obedient servant of Trump. And this time period that we're in now is, the, I think, the most dangerous and most risky for Julian Assange. That's why, I, yes, I'm here in solidarity, and I'm also here to pledge that we will do everything we possibly can to support this campaign and secure his release. The final point this is I think our, our appeal is to all men and women of goodwill in this country to recognize what a threat this is to all of us, to the democracy that we seek to preserve, to the rights that we all believe we should have, but also for future generations as well. Because this will set a precedent that will be used time and time again if we do not defeat what is currently threatened against Julian. Solidarity.